Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney Alma and happy Friday. We're here to talk about the cross stitch that I've done this week. So let's just jump right into today's video. My first finish is May, A Year in the Hoop. This is um, by Small Town Needleworks. This is a part of their A Year in the Hoop series. So I finished May. My next finish it actually was a start and a finish. This is Bless This Farm by Stitching with the Housewives. And I decided to pick a different fabric out this week. Let me move this over. And um, I decided to stitch on this 32 count gray check that I had, Lugana that I had. And I changed the coloring of the words to made it black to say Bless This Farm. So it just would stand out a little bit more. I thoroughly enjoyed stitching this and I'm debating on if I want to stitch the Sunflower Farms that I showed you guys last week by Stitching with the Housewives, if I want to do it on this as well and maybe change the colors where Sunflower Farm is in white and change it to black as well. So I'm kind of going back and forth, might do that, might not, but I do have a huge piece and I enjoyed this. I didn't want to cut it, so I stitched this one in hand. And I absolutely love this this past week. It turned out so cute. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fully finish it yet, but definitely will show you guys when I do that. So that was my other finish. So now on to my whips that I had this week. And this one is June, a year in the hoop. I started this one last night. Um, I actually started it on, I had a little bit of 18 count chalkboard Ada left and, but I just didn't like, I didn't like how it was stitching up. So I found this big piece and I think it was because I just finished stitching in hand, the Bless This Farm. So I, I wanted to stitch in hand again. And so I had this big piece. I just decided to use call for DMC and so this is June a year in the hoop by Small Town Needleworks. My next whip is the 2023 Prairie Schooler Santa. Oh, maybe he'll focus. There we go. This one is the release that they had this year. And I'm just stitching this on some tea dyed 28 count. And that's the progress that I had this week. Last week I only had his hat done and a little bit up here and the start of his scarf. So I finished filled in his face and his beard, started on his jacket, like his coat, and then the second part of the scarf and filled in the white. And love that one. So I'm excited to have that one finished to add to the Prairie Schooler Santas I've previously done. And this one is the bag that it was in. All right. My next whip is Heart and Hands Everyday Things. And I got a good bit done this week. Last week I showed you I had a little bit of this done and this part, the house and the birds. So, and a little bit of the words. So I was able to sit and stitch and get the finished part of the top here going down, started, and then the rest of the words and this tomato but I did not finish and do the back stitch on it just yet. I think I'm gonna wait to the end to do my back stitching. But I enjoyed, I'm enjoying this one very much. And I'm probably gonna finish, fully finish it like how it's shown in the pillow. I think that's very pretty. Either that or a pretty frame. All right. There's that one. My next one is my Sunday stitches. Oh, I didn't grab my booklet. Okay, I'm back. I had to run and grab my booklet real quick. 
of my next wimp. This is Heartstring Samplery um, Sunday Stitches. And I am, sorry about the crinkle, I am stitching Amazing Grace from this booklet. And this is the progress that I made this week. Put in a few more stitches down here and finish the word grace. Not a ton of stitching done, um, but I was able to work on this on Sunday. So there's that whip. And my last one, I actually forgot to show you guys. I showed a quick picture on Instagram um, last week, but I forgot to show you guys on the video. But this one is my whip of... Also, this is another bag. I'm sure I have shown this one before by Colleen. Patchwork Crossing. Love her bags. And this one is my whip of Lizzie Kate Winter Alphabet. And I'm just using all the call for DMC on 28 count T dyed fabric. There you go. I have finished a lot since the video that I did show any of this. I think I only had the topper maybe done at that point. But since then, I have finished the second and third row and moving on to the fourth. So I am moving on after Ian. It's very pretty. I love all the pretty colors, the pink kind of different pops through the winter, as well as that baby blue. Very, very pretty. I love the little snowman. I don't know if you can see him. He's so cute. And the cardinal down here. Oh, love. I enjoy stitching this one. And as you guys know, my little one loves all of my alphabet stitching. So I'm excited for him to enjoy that this winter when I'm able to have that fully finished and displayed. So let's move on. That was my end of my whips. I am going to move on now and show you the cross stitch pattern that I picked for my birthday stitch along. Now I'm kind of disappointed with how this was delivered, but it's not it's not the cross stitch shop's fault. They put you know, handle with care, do not bend, and they also have it as well on the label handle with care. And I'm not gonna show you the package because of my address, but I'm gonna show you how this came. Well, this paper doesn't matter because that's just the invoice. But if you can tell, they neatly packaged it. Love this cross stitch shop. This is my mail people. This is the mail and, and their doings for sure because they packaged it nicely, had the cardboard and everything to handle it. And they just crammed it in my mailbox, bent it down. So I'm a little sad about that for sure because I love paper patterns and to have my paper pattern now have that crease and bent is kind of sad, but that's okay. We're still gonna do the stitch along. We're still gonna use that pattern. It's a-okay, but, oh, I feel. Um, male people, yeah, they just, sometimes they don't, they're in a hurry and they just put it in the mailbox. But this is God Bless America by Stitching with the Housewives. Well, let me just fully take it out. And I am so excited to stitch this. I think I'm just going to stitch this on 28 count, um, like T dyed Monaco. I'm not quite sure yet. I'll probably end up changing my mind, but I think that's what I'm going to stitch it on. And um, yes, I love it so much. God bless America by Stitching with the Housewives. Um, the hashtag is going to be hashtag God bless America, S A L for Sal. 2023 and I will tag it in the um, description below as well so if you're on Instagram and you want to post pictures or you want to join my stitch along this will start June 4th Sunday June 4th which is my birthday and I'm not gonna do weekly whatever with a stitch along we're just gonna stitch it however you want to at your own pace but I would love for you to join me in stitching God bless America it is so beautiful. I'm very excited. I pulled um, some of my fabrics. I'm using some DMC, some fancy, well, variegated walls. And um, I had to get a couple that I didn't have. 
that it called for. I needed to get um, Deep Blue Sea. And then I needed to get Summer Sky, which is that darker. And I love it. I'm so excited. Um, I hope you guys will join me and definitely tag me as well. Um, you can also use the hashtag Courtney Alma and that will go to my, my page as well and my tags. And I hope you join me. That's going to be so fun. I'm excited to get that started. Not too much longer. Um, next with cross stitch, I wanted to tell you guys about, I meant to tell you last week, but, um, you can get it off at quarter shop, but it's a free pattern by heart and hand. And it is their do what you love cross it is her do what you love cross stitch pattern. And I tried to pull up a picture real quick when I took a break and had to go grab um, that booklet. And I'm gonna try to zoom in so I don't get any of the chart, but that way you can kind of see what it looks like. I love it, it says do what you love and then it has the stitch with the tomato. Oh, so cute. And that wouldn't take long at all to, to stitch. So that is a new start that I will have this week. So you have to come back and see which pattern, like which um, fabric choice I decide for that small. So I'm excited about that. And like I said, it is a free pattern and you can get it on Fat Quarter Shop. And the next thing I wanted to share with you guys was Colorado Cross Stitcher. She has a 2023 um, cross stitch camp and it is free and on her website if you go to i'll link it below as well if you go to coloradocrossstitcher.com on her site she talks all about it you you'll click under the tab that says what's new and it has the camp on there it has the pattern with the bird and it says cross stitch camp 2023 this year we're celebrating our third annual cross stitch camp so this will be my first i didn't know that this happened so i'm excited to join in with this this year um cross stitch camp for anyone who would like to participate i hope you all join join us and hear the details so it is a virtual camp you can participate from the comfort of your own home this camp runs from june through august but it, you can participate any month that you choose she put that on there it says the goal is to have fun, meet some new stitchy friends, and get some projects done. So that's fun. The challenge is June is stitch a pattern that includes a bird. Um, July is stitch a pattern that includes something that grows. And August is try something new. New fabric, fabric count, thread, designer, finishing techniques, etc. And then the rules is just to post a photo of your supplies on June 1st, your pattern cover, your thread, your fabric. And um, you can use the hashtags, hashtag cross, hashtag cross stitch camp 2023 and hashtag Colorado cross stitcher. And that will go to her, uh, the hashtag in that page. And it says post a photo of your finished piece on June 30th or earlier. And there's no, you don't have to fully finish it or anything. It's just your stitching piece. Um, and then you repeat on July 1st through 31st. And then you repeat on August 1st through 31st. So three months and a piece each month. I think that is so fun to have. And the fact that it is a virtual camp and free and you're able to like she said meet new cross stitch friends and and all i'm excited to i had to share that with you guys and um there's also commonly asked questions below if you don't have instagram she tells you about that as well she tells you about the designers the shop also if you want to purchase supplies from her she tells you all about it um so that is colorado cross stitcher and coloradocrossstitcher.com and like I said I will have that link below but I wanted you guys to know in case you want to join in as well I also real quick before we end today I wanted to share I know some of you guys like when I share books that I have and 
two of the books that I grabbed this week um, that was delivered. This was Joyce Myers. This is Overcoming Every Problem. And such a beautiful book. It is just 40 promises from God's word to strengthen you through life's greatest challenges. Very, very beautiful book if you want to check it out. And it also came with a beautiful bookmark as well. So that one's the first one I got. And I started reading um, last night. This one is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. And so I want to share that with you. I'm not going to give my opinion on it yet because I just started it. So I'm not quite sure. But started that one last night. And I believe that is all for me today. Um, I will have a giveaway. We won't say giveaway in the comments or anything. But I'll have a giveaway next week. It is going to be a pattern that I'm going to pick out. And send it one of you guys. And just start sharing um, some of the patterns and things that I've been blessed with as well. So you guys can pass along and we can just keep growing our community and enjoy the love of cross stitch. I'm so blessed to have you guys. I'm so thankful for you guys showing up every week. And I know the algorithm since I wasn't posting regularly, it was, it was kind of messing up, you know, if I was more sporadic. So my views and things have went down, but that's okay. If you guys, would greatly, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would like the video, make sure you're subscribed, and hit the bell notifications. Make sure you are notified when I post every Friday, and share with your stitchy friends, share with your family, and I hope to enjoy you guys, uh, joy and see you guys every week, and I hope you have a blessed week, and happy stitching.